In this scene, we will cover lipid lowering agents. We will cover statins, fibrates, niacin, bile resins, and ezetimibe. The setting for our scene is Michelangelo's studio, where several of his assistants are going about their days. Let's start by drawing a statue in the lower left corner. This statue will represent statins, our first group of drugs in this category. Statue, statins. Examples of statins include atorvastatin, simvastatin, lovastatin, and many others all ending in the suffix statin. Note that we drew this in the lower corner because statins most prominently affect low-density lipoprotein levels in blood. Before we go further, we want to note that all of these medications share the common property of favorably affecting various parts of a patient's lipid profile. For example, lowering the low-density lipoprotein or triglyceride levels, or increasing high-density lipoprotein levels. However, each drug group here is known for most affecting a particular component. For example, statins are most known to reduce the level of low-density lipoproteins, LDLs, so we have to put it in the lower corner. A test question might present a patient whose LDL levels are normal, but then asks what can be given to raise low HDL levels. Or a question might present a patient with sky-high triglycerides. The answer to these vignettes and more to come. Continuing with statins and the statue, statins work by inhibiting the enzyme HMG-CoA reductase, which is represented here by the inscription at the foot of the statue. While generally well tolerated, statins have two notable side effects that you will see regularly in clinical practice. The first is myopathy, represented by the wimpy, inflamed muscles in his thighs and arms. Patients will complain of muscle aches and weakness. Fibrates and niacin, two other drugs we will introduce in the scene, also have the same side effect of causing myopathy, so patients are at increased risk when taking combinations of these for increased effect. In practice, Patients are usually switched between various statins until a tolerable one is found. A second, less common side effect of statins is hepatotoxicity, which is represented here by the inflamed and bulging liver. Patients must be monitored for elevated liver enzymes. To recap, with statins, you want to remember that they primarily affect LDL levels by inhibiting the HMG-CoA reductase enzyme in the liver, and that the side effects are myopathy and liver toxicity. Moving on to fibrates, we will draw a big pile of fibers next to the statue. Examples of fibrates include gemfibrozil, clofibrate, basafibrate, and phenofibrate. The main clinical effect commonly tested is that fibrates reduce triglycerides, represented here by three glistening orbs. The mechanism of action of fibrates is increased lipoprotein lipolysis, which is why this assistant has big fat lips. Also, he's reaching up to feed his pet parakeet, which is perched on high. Fibrates activate the PPAR alpha receptor for an increase in HDL synthesis, hence the parakeet up high. Like statins, fibrates can also have the side effect of myopathy, which is why this artist has wimpy, red, inflamed muscles like the statue. When you have a patient on both statins and fibrates, expect muscle pain. This artist is also standing on a stone platform to represent a second notable side effect of fibrates, gallstones. A question might present a patient with normal LDL and HDL levels, but elevated triglycerides. What do you prescribe? Fibrates. Next up, Niacin. Let's draw sunlight streaming in from a window. Sunlight, niacin. Like most windows, this one is up high. That's because niacin is known to improve high-density lipoprotein levels. Look closely and you'll notice that by some weird quirk of physics, there are exactly three beams of sunlight. That's to help you remember that niacin is also called vitamin B3 hence three beams of sunlight shining in from up high. A question might ask, a patient presents with a normal LDL level, but decreased HDL level. What medication would bring that HDL level up? Niacin. On to niacin's mechanism of action. Let's draw a chubby assistant with a belt tightly squeezing his fat waist. 
this belt has two effects. First, niacin inhibits lipolysis in adipose tissue, which is why his lips are bulging. Second, niacin inhibits hepatic VLDL synthesis indicated by his liver bulging. His liver is not red and inflamed to indicate damage. Here it is the normal brownish color, but it's just inhibited by this very tight belt. Now let's start drawing another assistant who will demonstrate important side effects. First, note that his face is red and flushed, a symptom often encountered upon administration. You can prophylax against this by combining niacin with aspirin, which is why his ass is so red. Along with flushing, niacin causes vasodilation, which decreases blood pressure. Next, we see that this assistant is eating a candy lollipop, which will give him hyperglycemia. Finally, look at his joints, especially that big toe, enlarged and red. That's gout from hyperuricemia induced by niacin. Moving on to bile resins, let's draw a stone fireplace off to the side with a big lump of coal. Bile resin agents include cholestyramine, cholestipol, and cholecevolum, hence why we drew coal. Let's draw another rotund assistant snacking on raisins, specifically bile raisins, and gross, he's puking his guts out. Patients complain that bile resins taste terrible. Bile resins work by blocking intestinal reabsorption of bile. Let's have him holding his stomach. As you can imagine, mucking with intestinal absorption has the side effect of some abdominal discomfort. See those three glistening orbs above the fireplace? Triglycerides. Bile resins slightly increase triglycerides, a fact sometimes tested because it's a bit counterintuitive since we usually want to lower them. However, bile resins are useful when the patient's triglycerides are well controlled and we want to lower LDL levels. We drew a stone fireplace. Remember what we use stones to represent when introducing fibrates? Gallstones are also a side effect of bile resins, like cholestyramine. The last drug is ezetimibe and we're going to use a zebra for this. We'll have the zebra entering the studio because ezetimide blocks cholesterol absorption at the intestinal enterocytes. Notice that our zebra is blocked from entering too far. What's that coming out of this zebra's rear end? It looks like diarrhea, a common side effect. That's all the lipid lowering medications now. Remember that questions often test the notable effect of each. To summarize, we have the statue representing statins in the lower left because they lower LDL levels. Fibrates, a pile of fiber, are also low in the scene because they lower triglycerides, three glistening orbs. Niacin, as sunlight, the three beams of sunlight coming through the window, HDLs, bile resins as a yucky snack, and the ezetimide zebra blocked from entering the studio because ezetimide blocks cholesterol absorption at the intestinal enterocytes. As you look back, you'll notice that each of these drug groups has a different mechanism of action, each affected a different part of cholesterol metabolism. Because of this, these drugs are often given in combination for additional effect. Well, that's it for the lipid-lowering medications. Thank you for listening.